I'd like to preface this video by saying none of the content on this channel is to further an agenda. This content is meant to help people learn how to be safer based on things I have actually experienced. So these pictures were taken in an environment that not everyone is familiar with. This is a nightclub. I used to be a bouncer at various nightclubs and strip clubs, and have been in multiple scenarios where I've had to protect myself and others. Not many people realize there are a lot of dangers in a club, no matter your gender, ethnicity, or sexuality. The first and easiest things to cover are basic safety for if you've personally never been to a club before. So, to start things off, everybody wants to go drinking when they're at the club. I mean everybody. I've had a few experiences where underage people have tried to pass as over 21 to get a drink. Don't do this, this is a good way to get kicked out fast. But when you do get a drink, keep it in your hand at all times. Don't leave it anywhere because you don't know what kind of people the other patrons are. Another thing to keep in mind is knowing your limit. Your first time drinking should never be in public, as my job as a bouncer was to protect you in the event you're attacked, not to babysit you. When going to the restroom in a club, always have a friend with you. Avoid going to the restroom alone, as they're not always very clean, and that is where the shadier activities are going to happen. Oh, and make sure at least one person in the group is the sober friend. Even if they're not driving everyone or whatever, they can keep you safe at the club. If you are one of the people that will get belligerently drunk and you do get in a physical confrontation, a few very important things to do. Apologize is first. To the staff and the guy or girl you just fought. You should also make a graceful, respectful exit. By that, I mean don't make a scene. Don't go swearing and flipping people off. That just irritates everyone and will get you nowhere. And finally, absolutely do not try getting back into the club. A few guarantees if you do that after getting kicked out is that you will definitely get banned from coming back in the future and you will definitely get the shit kicked out of you by the bouncers. Now I'd like to go over the more grim parts of keeping yourself safe at a nightclub. As you can see in these photos, I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. I wore this as a bouncer because violent crimes do happen at clubs. People have tried to stab me, cut me, shoot me, you name it. So for the safety of me, yourself, and the people around you, just have fun and dance and drink. Don't bring in a knife or a gun to the club. You will only make the night worse for everyone that is at the club, as well as the authorities. I don't know of a single club on earth that allows weapons inside. In the club I worked at most recently, we wouldn't even let people bring glass bottles or cups into the bathroom because someone has been stabbed by a broken bottle in the bathroom of a nightclub before. Try to keep the safety of everyone in mind, as we all have lives outside of the party and families we'd like to go home to. If, for whatever reason, somebody has a gun in a club, you need to leave immediately. An active shooter situation is not something you want to be involved in, as it's always bad. You're not a hero, and you are only responsible for the safety of yourself. Self-preservation is subconsciously ingrained in the minds of all living things. So I'm not going to tell you you have to warn security or tell the authorities, and you definitely don't need to go trying to stop the person with the gun. Just go home. Tonight just isn't the night for the club. Have fun with your friends at home and never ever think you're the hero. No matter how many books you read or anime you watch, there is no main protagonist in life, and it certainly isn't you. Oh, one last thing. If you're in a strip club as opposed to a nightclub, you need to listen to the girls and don't be the moron that tries to climb on stage. Everybody will make fun of you. Okay. Now that all the serious stuff is out of the way, go have fun. As long as you keep your friends close and your drink closer, you'll have a good time. 